Hey Blade Ops, uh, today we're reviewing the SE Knives, or formerly known as Rat Cutlery, uh, Survival Kit. This is the basic kit, and there also is an advanced. Um, right off the bat, I'll tell you it comes in a Ziploc bag. Product code on the basic is the RCS Kit B. There's the A for advanced, and I'll tell you about the differences in a second. Um, as always, comes with the two survival cards. One's laminated almost like a cheap credit card and the other one is just the business card style with some information about if you're lost, signaling and survival also has their information on it and the kit comes in this nylon heavy duty pouch has a tag on it and it is labeled B there for for basic I really do like their logo it's an awesome logo um, here's the pouch got some velcro there you can strap it to your pack, strap it to your belt. It's got the fold over Velcro, so you can quick quick access <clears throat> fold out pouch and then the oversized zipper to access the main kit. And we're going to talk about a few things in the kit. Um, probably won't go through everything, and then I'll read the list real quick of what it actually has in it. Rat Survival Gear has their address and their website. Right in the front pouch, uh, we got some fishing line, some hooks, weights, uh, one white jig already set up and some clothes pins and just so you know this contains lead known in the state of California to cause cancer anyway there's the fishing kit in the front and also I'm pretty sure this is 50 feet of cord eh, it might be 20 uh, we'll find out in a minute so that's in the outside pouch and then inside I'm gonna open up these contents I'm not gonna open up each little baggie I gotta pack this up nice that's about how big the kit is and I'll just set that there what we have in it, uh, Stay Alert Caffeine Supplement Chewing Gum. There it is, it's got five pieces, it's 100 milligrams of caffeine per piece, so you've got 500 milligrams of caffeine there. Um, and this is like the cert first aid part of the kit. Uh, you got some DEET wipes, band-aids, alcohol wipes. I'll read the list of what's in there. I'll talk a little bit about this, the Alok Sack. Really like this. Uh, you can get these online from their website. Um, from some other backpacking forums and whatnot, but this does come. The awesome part about this is you can put all the kit contents inside the bag so it can be waterproof. Uh, you could also carry water in this. Uh, there's a bunch of different uses for this. So you could fill this up with water. This could be your canteen or your pouch of water. That's cool. Your oak sack. And then inside the main contents, you got a bunch of stuff. You got snare wire, you got the wire saw, another saw. I mean, you got the disposable handcuff key, pencil, paper, you got a mirror, signaling mirror, and I'm actually going to read the contents of what you have in there. Fire starter, instead of opening it up and trying to repackage it, because it is packaged up pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so the kit contents are, it's got the container, it's got a pencil, survival saw blade with handle, SAS wire saw, surgical scalpel with handle, button cut compass, rescue whistle, P38 can opener, signaling mirror, uh, the Ranger fire starter, tinder tabs, four water treatment tablets, you know, it's got a magnifier and lens, utility wire, mil spec paracord, a loak sack, we talked about that, personal survival fishing kit, disposable handcuff key, and then the first aid kit has a bunch of stuff like aspirin, lip balm, I'm not going to go through all that. This is the basic kit, uh, you can also get an advanced the difference between the Advance is it has a 2x2 two two, uh, gauze clotting square um, and a, suture, a small suture kit with a reverse cutting needle. Um, then it also has a small pry bar. I think it's the Gerber Shard. So that's what you get in the kit. Uh, I'm sure there's some other things you could add to it to make it a little bit more robust. This kit is about in the $90 range. Um, that, there, there is a lot of stuff in this. That sounds like expensive, but this comes with a lot of stuff. If you were to go out to buy, go out and buy each thing separately, it, you'd probably be in the similar price range. Um, that's the price with shipping. Um, if there's some other things you you'd add to this kit, let me know down below. I'd love to hear uh, what people would put in their survival kit. Obviously, you know, keeping it this small, you know, keeping it about hand size. This is about the size of a small point and shoot camera case. And if you made your own, that's probably what you'd use. So. Let me know what you think about this kit, uh, what you might put in it if you to add to it, make it more robust, about this size. Uh, if you have any comments, questions down below, let us know, so check it out. 
reviewing the rat cutlery or SE knives survival kit, Blade Ops.